Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima ba'd Continuing on in our dars of fiqh of basic fiqh in the Kitab al Tahara in the book Umda uh, Tahkam. We reach the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the hadith of Abi Huraira Radiallahu Tala Anhu, which talks about, clarifies for us the fitra of Islam, the beauty of Islam, and that Islam calls to every kind of khair. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves Nadafa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with in the Allah yuhibbu mutatahirin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those people the purified ones Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves tuhur wa tahara and everything clean and Islam calls us to cleanliness on Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal sami'tu rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul al-fitratu khams الختان والاستحداد وقص الشارب وتقليم الظافر والنطف الابد رواه بخاري ومسلم. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa ala alihi wa sallam, the hadith of Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه who said, I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam say that the fitra is five, or the nature, or the natural. the natural fitra is of five things. The first, al-khitan, meaning to circumcise, circumcision. Well, istihdad. Istihdad, referring to, uh, to plucking the, uh, plucking the, the, the hairs. Istihdad. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, waqasa sharib and trimming the mustache. Wa taqlima avafir to trim the nails. Wa natfil ibd. Natfil ibd is to pull the armpit ha- hairs or to shave the armpit. Letting us know that these five things make up the fitra. And in another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned six, alayhi salatu wa salam. And so al istihdad as we mentioned, is to shave or clean the private parts. Some of the benefits we gain from this hadith that Shaykh Ali Bassam rahimahullah ta'ala he mentioned and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon all of the ulama of Ahl sunnah and the salaf of this ummah who strove to give the believers and leave the believers something and they were the means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose in order to preserve his religion. One of the b- benefits that Shaykh Ali Bassam rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned he said that the fitra of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it calls you to every thing that is khair and it removes you or distances you or encourage you to be far away from everything shar. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created a fitra, a natural inclination or a nature if you will that calls us to everything good and prohibits us from being away from those things which are filthy and evil. Another benefit that the ulama deduce from this hadith is that these five things are from the fitra, meaning to, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, uh, al-khitan, so to be circumcised, wastahdad, to shave the private parts, remove the hair around the, the private parts, and this includes for the male and the female. And this includes the dubr wa dhikr, or the akramakum Allah, the, for the male, the penis, and for the woman, the vagina area, the vaginal area, and for the, for both, around the, the, uh, around the anus of Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins. And the other thing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that was from the fitra, of course, is qasa sharib. So that we, for us as men, we should be concerned with, with trimming the mustache and leaving the beard because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in countless hadith, alayhi salatu wa sallam, ordered us to grow your beards. Meaning, and, and as we've mentioned in many of our sittings, that al-amr, Yafid al-wujub. That whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran 
For the Prophet والسلام, in the authentic Sunnah command us to do something that is evidence, the asl of that command or the origin of that command, if it's a command, means that it's an obligation. That's a sharia qaida or principle that the ulama have deduced from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Another benefit that the ulama mention with, with regards to this hadith is that the religion of Islam came with everything, came with nadafa, with cleanliness, jimal, with beauty, wa kamal, meaning completeness or perfection. So all of these are Islamic traits that the Muslim should strive to be on a salim fitra, a clean and pure and natural fitra that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us to, to be upon. Another benefit of this hadith is the the uh, the the that it is a legislated practice and a regular practice that a Muslim should be striving to do these things, these things of fitra, that they should make this a part of their regular habit, and that we should be far away from not doing those things, as this can be a form of jahil. Some of the Muslims are unaware of these aspects of fitrah, as you'll see some of the Muslims having long armpit hair and, and so forth, and not paying attention to this. And these are very important things, and as it was related that some of the Salaf, that they regarded that 40 days, if you don't shave, that this is a, a type of sinfulness. So it's very important that the Muslim be concerned about keeping themselves clean, especially around the private parts, and the nutq al-ibt, you know, cleaning the, the, removing the hair from amongst the armpits and so forth. Another benefit we gain from this hadith is, and this is a very important thing, he says, Al-Adid Al-Khamsa Huna Laysa Hasran. He said that the, the fact that this hadith mentions five aspects of the fitrah does not mean it's restricted to five. This is very important because you'll find in many ahadith of the Prophet ﷺ where he mentions a particular number about something. For example, uh, in uh, some, some things the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, uh, for example, when he talked about sectarianism, that uh, the, the Ummah would break into 73 sects. That doesn't mean that it's only restricted to 73. The, perhaps it could mean, you know, it, 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 it's not, it, it's showing that there's a lot of added, that there's many. So sometimes the Prophet Sallallahu said something to emphasize, and this is very common in the usage of the, Arab, uh, the Arabic language, how the Arabs used it, is that sometimes they'll mention an added for emphasis, not meaning that it's restricted to that added, but use, letting you know that it's kathir. So they'll mention a particular added to uh, illustrate that there's many, that there's a lot. So here, it is not restricted to five because there's another hadith where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that was collected in Sahih Muslim would m mention uh, more than that. And those are just some of the benefits of this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who practice the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in all of its manifestations. And may Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala forgive us of our many sins. Wa Sallallahu Wa Sallam Ala Nabi and Muhammad Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam. No.